leg of the quaddy. And TAB number five is the favourite, Corporal Jujon, trained by Peter Schiller in the Cherry Capital at Young and being driven by Peter McRae, who's currently uh, working out at Uribe. Uh, no more than five kilometres as the, as the crow flies from the track here. Down to the judge in two. There's the green twinkling light up. We're away for the second leg of the daily double from Wagga Wagga. And it's a good battle out of the front with Corporal Jujon and also Twisted Mistress beginning well. And the Corporal's going to lead the march out of the home straight. He gets down to the marker line, Corporal Jujon, in front of Twisted Mistress. And then uh, Soho Beijing moving up and around the outside. We'll have to work without cover because I don't think the leader's going to surrender. They're being followed through then by Winsome Muller. And further back was Woodlands Wonder getting a nice mid-race one out and one back smother. Over on the outside was a good ideal for Ray Turner who covered up a former Gan Maynite in Dan Carroll with Sports Riley on his inside. The white wheels and the yellow jacket and red belong to Chard who's racing third to last from the clock winder and when they'd settled down Smoke and Tally was at the tail of the field. They've just come inside the mile now and they're racing up to the top turn with about 1500 metres still to play and the leader is the corporal. The corporal led the platoon along at a swinging tempo. Corporal Ju John by two metres. He's in front as they come off the top corner. Soho Beijing is racing second and third. Behind the leader was Caitlin McElhinney with Twisted Mistress having a nice run. Now Chard is taking off from the back and going up three deep at the 1200. They're being followed in the middle by Woodlands Wonder. Further back raced a good ideal and Winsome Muller got back. They were being followed by Sports Riley the clock winder and as they came down to the judge to get the bell, Smoke and Tally's last of all. In front at the post with a lap to play was Corporal Jujon and the favourite ran the first quarter in 30.9 and is about to take them around the bottom bend and out to the Cartwright's Hill side. Uh, as I said, 30.9 the first split as they go to the 850. Corporal Jujon's advantage is still three metres. Soho Beijing is second. Chard has continued to work but out three deep now as they go down past the 700 and the second split was 29. They're being followed through by Winsome Mueller, Woodlands Wonder in the middle and a good ideal and further back the clock winder Sports Riley and well back with Smoke and Tally as they go to the 500. Corporal Jujon, he's just tended to over race a little in the lead but he's starting to increase the tempo now at the 500. On the outside chart is three wide. Leader's Danger might be leader's back twisted mistress and he lets go now. He said well if they run me down they run me down and Corporal Jujon kicks for home. 200 metres to play. The grey. The clock wind is eating into his ground out wide quickly now. Corporal Jujon led, but the clock winder seems to have him halfway down the lane. The clock winder out wide goes to Corporal Jujon, who can offer not much more. And as they start to swing down past the 175, it's going to be the clock winder. The clock winder wins second, uh, I think, was Corporal Jujon, just holding on from smoke and tally. Uh, then Twisted Mistress, followed by Woodlands Wonder, and further back raced Sports Riley. Chard raced wide for about the last 700 and had just told late. They were followed in by a good ideal and Winsome Muller and uh, one of the last ones to clock home is going to be Soho Beijing who raced for a fair portion in the cheap seat outside the leader. A pretty tough task on a windy night.